All right, everyone, let's take a break from all the PS5 Slim and Pro talk. I want to discuss something that's really exciting me. Mortal Kombat 1. I believe it's going to be amazing. It's going to be spectacular. And most of all, it's raised the bar for fighting games once again. Oh, and one more thing. I have a crazy theory about the story. Let's explore together. My old friend. It's been eons. It's good to see you. Likewise, Lord Liu Kang. NetherRealm Studios, the masterminds behind the Mortal Kombat franchise, are back with a reboot of this beloved series, Mortal Kombat 1. The game is gearing up for its release on September 19th, and with each trailer, the roster of fighters expands and the story details become clearer. The game follows Liu Kang, the new protector of Earthrealm. He became a god and reset the timeline for a more peaceful version during the events of MK11 and Aftermath, finds that maintaining peace is no simple task. The Keepers of Time trailer reveals the return of Geras, who previously served under Kronika, and proved to be a formidable antagonist to the protectors of Earthrealm. Now, he appears to be the new Keeper of the Hourglass and governs the timeline. Additionally, the trailer showcases the return of Darius as a cameo fighter. Darius, who last appeared as a fighter in Mortal Kombat Armageddon, is sporting a new look for Mortal Kombat 1, an impressive tag moves throughout the trailer. Lastly, the Keepers of Time trailer showcases new fatalities. Netherrealm continues to push the bar for gore. There is blood aplenty with the new game's fatalities, and the trailer ends with a jaw-dropping black hole fatality. Liu Kang's abilities as a god are very apparent. Alright, that was fast, right? We got the facts and boring parts out of the way. Now let's take a moment to analyze a specific part of the trailer. The interaction between Liu Kang and Giras. Now this is where things get interesting, and I have a theory I'd like to share with you. Giras is the guardian of the hourglass. A celestial object which lies beyond the realms. The hourglass regulates time and destiny. You are relishing your role as Earthrealm's protector. Vision of peace may already be compromised. In the trailer, we see Geras provoking Liu Kang, who, judging from the trailers, seems to have developed a bit of an ego. Remember that line from the first trailer, Liu Kang says? You have chosen to defy peace. Then you have chosen war with a god. This statement, coupled with Gira's provocation, leads me to believe that Liu Kang might be the villain in this game. Now I know this might sound surprising considering Liu Kang's role as the protector of Earthrealm, but think about it. His newfound godhood, the ego that seems to be creeping in and the challenges of maintaining peace could all contribute to a shift in his character. Of course, this is just a theory and we'll have to wait until the game's release to see if it holds any water. But it's certainly an interesting possibility to consider. What do you think? Could Liu Kang be the villain in Mortal Kombat 1? And how would you feel about that? Personally, I hope I'm wrong. I'm a big fan of Liu Kang ever since I was a teenager and I think he needs a break from evilness. He was undead for the past two entries. But hey, I really want to know your input on this. So share your thoughts in the comments below. We settle for defending Earthrealm when we could help lead it. Let's move on to Lin Kuei trailer. First up, we got Smoke. His powers, which come from his transformation into a ghostly figure, are beautifully showcased in the trailer. His ability to teleport and use smoke in his attacks promises a unique and exciting experience for players. Then there's Rain, a royal character with the power to control water and weather. His abilities are on full display in his trailer. From creating weapons out of water to summoning lightning, Rain's powers are not only visually stunning but also suggest a versatile and strategic gameplay. I also want to bring attention to the dialogue and acting. They add another layer to these characters. They each have unique personalities that come through in their interactions, making them feel real and relatable. This is a testament to the storytelling skills of NetherRealm Studios. Let's not forget about the iconic duo, Scorpion and Sub-Zero, who also make a striking appearance in the trailer. One moment that stands out is when Scorpion melts a sword with his fiery aura. I was really impressed by that. Sub-Zero, with his icy demeanor and chilling abilities, provides the perfect contrast to Scorpion's fiery intensity. These character moments, combined with the game's impressive visuals and combat mechanics, make the trailer an exciting glimpse into what's to come in Mortal Kombat 1. Let's take a moment to appreciate the cameo fighting style that's been showcased in the recent trailers. I'll be honest, I was initially skeptical about this approach, but as the trailers kept rolling out, my skepticism turned into pure excitement. 
The cameo fighting style brings a fresh dynamic to the Mortal Kombat series. It's not just about the individual fighters anymore, but also about the synergies and interactions between different characters. This adds a whole new layer of strategy and depth to the gameplay, making each fight even more thrilling and unpredictable. I remember the anticipation I felt leading up to the release of MK11, but the hype for Mortal Kombat 1 is on a whole other level. The game is shaping up to be a groundbreaking entry in the series, and I can't wait to see what else NetherRealm Studios has in store for us. That's it for today guys, but don't go anywhere just yet because we're just getting started. Stay locked in for part 2 where we'll continue to dissect the remaining trailers and I'll be unveiling some intriguing theories that are sure to get your gears turning. Trust me, you won't want to miss it. Gears, my old friend. It's been eons. It's good to see you. Likewise, Lord Liu Kang. Duty is my highest calling. Giris is the guardian of the hourglass. A celestial object which lies beyond the realms. The hourglass regulates time and destiny. You are relishing your role as Earthrealm's protector. Those with power must know how to use it wisely. When you restarted history, you altered the destinies of certain malefactors to neutralize them. Crafting a timeline. Ha! a complex endeavor. 